for City Lights on Novus TV, I'm Natalie Langston. Today we find out why Indian food is not only healthy, but also great for vegetarians with local chef Vikram Vij. And afterwards, Peter Schwegli at Body Comp Imaging will show me how a body scan can be used as a blueprint for health and diet tips. Let's get started. Here with Vikram Vij at his Express Railway food truck. Thank you so much for having us. My pleasure. Fantastic. Now we are cooking up some yummy gluten-free dairy and vegan items. Is that right? Absolutely. You know what? Indian food is the best cuisine for a vegetarian or a vegan or gluten-free because the naan and the chapatis can always be served on the side. And Indian food, flavorful-wise, there is not a better cuisine in the world that's that's better than Indian food for a vegetarian. So one of the dishes that we're going to cook here is um, a chickpea salad. We've got some beans, onions, tomatoes. You would add a little chutney that we made, a little bit of chopped cilantro, a little bit of rice puffs that we made, which give a little structure to it. Then you would make it up like that. And then this becomes a little salad. So it's like a typical summer salad, healthy for you. And it's really easy for anybody to make at home. Absolutely. Indian food is not a very labor intensive. Now, what do you have up next for us? Well, uh, a total comfort food, rice, and dal. Dal is local lentils with all the spices. It's the com most comfort food. Now, if you did want a little bit of heat, a little bit of pickled chilies, Ooh. if you want, <laughs> if you don't want heat, you can just add a little bit of fresh cilantro to it. And that becomes your really comfort food. It's like having spaghetti and meatballs. This is what it would be. Okay, that makes it more clear for me now. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what do you think about gluten-free options in general? Well, Indian food. You know, you can have without the naan, but papadums, for example, work really, really well for gluten-free. Most of the dishes, vegetable stews and everything else, never add any flour to it. It's your choice to have the breads if you want it, otherwise you can have everything with rice. Mmm, everything tastes so delicious. Who knew Indian food could be so healthy? Now let's go see what Peter has in store for me. We are here at Body Comp Imaging, where I'm about to have a detailed scan of my body done. After the scan, I will find out the muscle mass, fat, and bone density of my entire body. It will also break down my body fat percentage. Now, Peter, let's start off by talking about the body comp scan and mm -hmm. what that is all about. So body composition scans are a way of looking at how much your body is made of fat, muscle, and bone. So it's a quick x-ray process. We take a picture of the whole body over about seven minutes. And from that, I can tell the percent fat and also the muscle symmetry, where the fat's carried, and whether your bones are appropriately strong for your age. Now, what is the benefit for the average person to come in and get a body scan done? I get sort of two typical types of clientele. I get people who are trying to lose weight and they want to have a clear idea of how much weight they should lose, where their percent fat's at, what it's going to take to, to bring them to the healthy range. And then I get really fit athletes who are way faster than I am and they want to improve their performance. So what would be your top five tips for our viewers? Take vitamin D. If you live in Vancouver, there's not enough sunshine here. Eat protein with every meal. If you think you're eating enough, probably have a little bit more. Vegetables. Enough said. <laughs> Lift something heavy once in a while, but do it with good form. And go for a walk. Play in the park. Make, make most of your fitness playing outside so you don't realize you're working. Awesome. Want some good news? Yes, you got good bones. Now you're only 23 and your bones are going to keep on getting stronger until you're almost 30 years old. So for you to be getting 30% protein calories, 20% of your carbs, um, of calories from carbs is going to limit you to under 100 grams a day. And then I'd like you to be eating about a quarter pound of healthy fat a day, but mostly mono and polyunsaturated fat. So avocados, olive oil, grapeseed oil, salmon, little bits of nuts and seeds, some saturated fat from meat or dairy, but uh, most of the good stuff. To try Vikram's fantastic cuisine for yourself, visit his truck on the corner of Georgia and Thurlow, or check out his website at bitchesrailway.com. For more details on Body Comp Imaging, visit bodycomp.ca. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next week. For City Lights on Novus TV, I'm Natalie Langston. No,